Hello students. Today's lesson, lesson two, is on coordinate moves from our first module, Rigid Transformations. A great quote by Jay-Z, Identi identity is a prison you can never escape, but the way to redeem your past is not to run from it, but to try to understand it and use it as a foundation to grow. And on this day in 1986, the Oprah Winfrey Show is first broadcast nationally. Remember that the photo and the logo is a live link so that you can learn a little bit more about this great event. Our agenda is on the left, so let's get started. In the first quadrant of your math journal, write down your daily learning targets. 1.3, I can apply transformations to points, lines, and polygons on a grid if I know the coordinates of its vertices. And 1.4, I can describe the effects of a rigid transformation on the lengths and angles in a polygon. In quadrant two of your math journal, write the problem, show your thinking, and indicate your answer. So for part one, we're referring to this image right here. What do you notice and wonder? So there's some things that we came up with were that there are three lines that coincide with the fact that there are three sides to this triangle. This is actually an equilateral triangle, which means that all the angles are equiangular, meaning they all have the same degrees, 60 degrees. So we have a vertical line and two diagonal lines. And so this is actually used to create 3D objects, 3D images, and can extend to computer graphics and uh, com uh, digital animation. This is called isometric grids. For part two, we are asked to translate each of our vertices from the pre-image of this figure in blue to the image, this figure in green. And so if we take each of the, those vertices, we're moving up two vertically and then to the right four horizontally. But then we discovered that instead of talking about these two directions, we can use something we call a vector, which informally you need to know for this year, but formally in high school you will learn. GeoGebra is a great digital uh, application that you could download or use on uh, any browser. So I've included some applets here for you to be able to explore these different rigid transformations on either square grid paper, the isometric grid paper, and then extending that and digging deeper on the coordinate plane. So I want to show you a couple of these different uh, commands here. So let's open the applet. <clears throat> and let's explore. So the first command here is to draw a vector. And so it provides you some directions here. Select starting point, then the end point. And so our starting point is the pre-image A vector to A prime. By creating that vector, the second command allows us to take the image and translate it along that vector. And so therefore we see that we've gone up two vertically to the right six horizontally, but we can use this vector to slide it or translate it to its new location. So we have our pre-image to our image. We could reset that and move on to some other questions, but let me also show you the rotation. So we have a point of rotation, O, and we can use the third command here, rotate about a point, in which we select the object and select the point and then rotate 60 degrees and then the direction, counterclockwise in this case. Pretty cool. So please explore this app on your own time. Then there's a GeoGebra applet that investigates transformations on the isometric grid paper. So if we click on that, we can explore some transformations. Let's take a look at that and rotate about a point. So I'll take this figure and rota rotate about point B at 60 degrees. And this may be actually easier to see because if we look at our corresponding sides of A, B to A prime, B prime, it outlines the edges of this equilateral triangle, which shows us that we rotated 60 degrees counterclockwise. So please explore the rest of these uh, activities, two, three, and four. Start reading this article, Drum Patterns, about the secret inner beauty of Japanese taiko drums, 
On your own time, you can engage in the videos and other resources on the page to enrich this learning experience. And so again, if we click on that live link, the picture is also a live link, it will lead you to the article. Remember that you can log in as a student and use the student class code. So there's some videos, a great article to uh, describe the history behind these Taiko drums and its company. Uh, you can see that some drums are huge and some drums are smaller, but you'll notice that there's a hexagon design that this drum maker is carving inside the drum. Uh, and so this leads us back to our different rigid transformations. And look at that. This looks similar to our isometric grid. So we have our, our translation, our reflection, and our rotation. Why are there six of these? Because six times 60 degrees in the center gives us 360 or a full circle or rotation around that point of rotation. This leads into more complex designs uh, and our discussion of tessellations in which we will be learning more about that in the coming weeks and which is based, uh, which on which your project is based on, uh, which we will discuss in the next couple sessions. These are your formal notes, your Fantastic Five Low Heist Learning Lecture notes. If we take a look at this dove, or these sets of doves, we notice that this dove could be reflected across a vertical line of reflection and then translated up so many units. And so we call this a sequence of transformations, uh, which is a set of translations, rotations, or reflections, and dilations, which we will get to dilations in the next module. The transformations are performed in a given order. And so we can synthesize the main parts that we need in order to conduct each of these transformations. So a translation is determined by two points that specify the distance and direction of the translation. A rotation is determined by a point, angle of rotation, and a direction of rotation, i.e. counterclockwise. And a reflection is determined by a line. Brain break. All right, digging deeper, now we're using the coordinate plane and we can use the GeoGebra applets to complete these activities. And what they're asking you to do on this one is to start labeling your ordered pairs and then make sure that you've labeled its reflection ordered pairs. So if I have A right here, I want to make sure that I've labeled it A prime where it reflects over the X axis. The one tricky uh, point or ordered pair is D. And because it la it's sitting right on the mirror line, it's zero units away from the mirror line, which means that its reflection is in the lo same location. So D prime will show up in the same spot. So say, take some time to use this applet and experiment with these different um, activities. Finally, we have this GeoGebra applet, which looks at a line segment and rotates it. But you'll notice that if we rotate this line segment twice using two different uh, points of rotation, we could actually use a single translation to describe that movement. And so if I rotate AB about the point B, whoop, 90 degrees, and then rotate that same point AB about the point A, whoop, I could say that there is a translation of AD to BC or BC to AD by moving it either down vertically five units and then to the right horizontally three units. Pretty cool. I've also provided a blank grid sheet for you, a, a geometric um, coordinate plane, rather, for you to create your own set of rigid transformations, one of each type using a polygon of your choice. Again, this will help you with your tessellation geometric art project. In quadrant three of your math journal, write the problem, show your thinking, and indicate your answer. And so in which of these triangles are uh, translations of triangle A, uh, we discovered that D and B are both translations. However, E is a reflection about a vertical line, and C is a reflection about a horizontal line, 
where f is a rotation counterclockwise from our pre-image uh, A. And then part B, one of the triangles pictured is a rotation of triangle ABC, and one of them is a reflection. And so we discovered that this pre-image ABC uh, rotates counterclockwise 90 degrees from the first quadrant to the second quadrant to form the image that is in green. And the point of rotation is the origin. I also showed that if I connect our corresponding vertices to that origin, so A to the origin, and then up to its corresponding vertex, it creates that 90 degree angle. And so I can check all my points to make sure that I've rotated that correctly as long as it shows that it's 90 degrees. Why 90 degrees? Because we know that from one quadrant to the second quadrant is a 90 degree turn. Because each of these corners is 90 degrees, which makes 180 for a straight line and then 360 for the full circle. Identify the line of reflection and label that reflected image XYZ. That is our red image and the line of reflection is the x-axis. All right, in quadrant four of your math journal, reflect on your progress in mastering today's standards. I've gone ahead and, uh, or targets rather, I've gone ahead and recopied those standards for you, those learning targets. Uh, so are you at a one, two, three, or four today? Finally, as a reminder, I've assigned 10 new activities, uh, each containing four to five problems. While I did not assign any videos or articles, take advantage of these resources to help you review and strengthen your conceptual understanding if you are struggling with the practice problems. Also, visit me during my office hours with specific problems you would like me to review with you. On Scholastic Math, after reading the session's real-world article on drummer patterns, again, I've provided the uh, link, the live link for you, and the actual uh, direct link to the activity itself, but I've also uploaded it to CTLS Learn. Uh, make sure you complete this uh, at the end of your review. Finally, remember you have your two required activities, and then the two recommended activities are to complete those four quadrants and your notes, um, whatever you didn't get done during our live session, and then continue reviewing your academic vocabulary flashcard, flashcards, which are the cards that you created from our academic vocabulary on your overview handout. All right, be here, be, re be ready, be respectful, and you will be great at Griffin. Have a great day, and be kind to one another.